everyone, this is Kari coming back to teach you and uh, to show you how to installation the power of your new workshop. So we are in the workshop outside. Here, this is uh, transferable. If you want to run and open the factory, you'd better to apply the transferable from your government first. That is very important. After you have the transferable, we will into the workshop to have a look how to connection the power. First of all, we will before running the machine, you'd better to have you have your power cabinet. This power cabinet is same like your home switch, home the 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 total home switch to control all the machines to control all the machines switch. Yes, this is the main power cabinet. So we will open it and have a look. Yes, this is have a one, two, three, four, five switches. That means it can choose control for four different machines. This this switch is for for the machine that we will we will show you. This is this switch. Uh, this this line, you can see this line, this big line is from the transformer. Yes, this line is from the transformer. Transformer is from the transformer. This line 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 is from the transformer. This from the transformer, yes, the transformer power will be connected with the power cabinet here, and uh, for this, this wheel will be connected to our extruder. Yes, you can have a look here. Yes, this wheel will come from the power cabinet here. You can have a look. This is the power from the power cabinet. We will be connected into the electrical cabinet here, like this. That's three lines from the power cabinet. This is the cabinet of our extruder. For the extruder, we are all to connection the wheel. You can have a look. Okay, for the our electrical cabinet connection, we will show you how to connect the, our electrical cabinet. You can see here is the wheel. Here is the wheel from our extruder. The, the, the wheels will into the extruder here. Yes, that the color wheels is from our extruder. If you want to connection all the wheels, you just to have the, the label here. You can see we have a label number 9L1 and Z also is 9L1 just to use the same number and to connect the same position. Yes, same. Just to find the same number. Find the same number to connection like this. And this is also unique to connection the same number. Yes, 9L3, 9L3, yes, just to find the correct number, like this, we need to connect here, here, and this one, this one, and the, all the lower, this one, lower lines, we need to connect, like this, and the uh, electrical, and the, um, a frequency inverter wheel also to be connected like this. Okay, this is the, our electrical cabinet connection. The wheel, how to how to wheel, how to connection the wheels. After the electrical cabinet, there are also some small wheels 
From the small pump, you also need to connect it when you get the machine, such as this water pump wheel, like this. Yes, this one, this wheel, and um, this wheel. Yes, this is a small pump, the vacuum pump wheel. And the, the blower wheel, this one is blower wheel. Yes, blow a wheel. All these wheels will be connected to the yellow cabinet here. All the downstream system, the, the wheel, the small wheels will be connected here. You can have a look here. This is the wheel that we have a look just now. This one. So, after you get the machine, you, you need to connect the, the, main power, the main power cabinet and the, our electrical cabinet with the extruder and some small pump, small motor wheels to connect here. This is all the wheel connection for the turn screw extruder water strain cutting system. For next one, we will teach you how to install the gas. Gas in sample. I think you will know it easily. See you later.